Hello guys and welcome to this new Power BI tutorial. In this video, I'm going to create the following interactive dashboard which is about TripAdvisor, hotel reviews in Las Vegas. As you can see, I'm going to create different charts. So I'm going to start by two radial bar charts for total users by continent and traveler type. We have two bar charts for hotels by stars and hotels by total rooms. We have donut chart and we have two cards. But before start creating our dashboard, let's first explore our data set. So here we have our data set and we have 504 rows. So we have user country, number of reviews, number of hotel reviews, helpful votes, score, period of stay. So mainly we have here quarters. We have travel type, swimming pool, exercise room, basketball within the hotels, yoga classes, club, free Wi-Fi. We have also the hotel name. The hotel stars, so we have 3, 3.5, 4, 4.5, and 5. We have number of rooms for each hotel, user continent, member years, review month, and review weekday. So now I'm going to create a new project and we are going to import our data set and start creating our charts. Here we have our new project, and to insert the data, we click on Get Data, Text CSV. And you can find the link to download the data set in the description. So you click on connect. Okay, we click on load. Okay, so you can see here we have all the rows. And the first thing to do is that we are going to change the background. So we click on more colors and we write the following code. So we have 01, E2, A0. and transparency 0% okay next we are going to change the hotel stars data type so we click on transform okay so here we select hotel stars and we go to transform so the data type it will be decimal number replace current and as you can see here for example for 4.5 we have 45 and 3.5 we have 35 so i'm going to replace 35 by 3.5 and 45 by 4.5 so we replace values replace values value to find 35 we replace it by 3.5 okay and same thing for 45 okay now once we save it we need to give it a name so i gave it a name trip advisor project click on apply and we close yes now to create our radial bar chart we need first to sign in so you click on sign in and you write your email in here so once you are in you click on get more visuals so you search for radial and we import this one dynamic radial bar chart you click on add okay the visual was successfully imported into this report and you can see it in here now we can create our first radial bar chart which is total users by continent so we click on this chart for the groups we have user continent and for first measures we have the count so the count of the user continent all right now i'm going to format that so we start by the background the border it will be black and rounded corners 20 so the title it would be total users by continent black bold in the center all right now for the visual maximum value we select 300 Okay, the labels 
format so the unit is default and for the text it will be black bold for the labels we remove the labels radial bar so for the shadow we select our color and for the colors we put everything in black okay for the design the opacity we put it to 100 okay and for the reference lines we put them off okay so here we have our first chart so we can just decrease it like that okay now right click on the visual copy and we paste it like that you can put it in here all right so for the group and first measure we are going to select for the groups the traveler type and for the first measure same thing the count okay now for the maximum value we can select 220 all right and for the colors we are going to change them into black we can change the title which will be traveler type okay so we can increase the size a little bit just like that next we are going to create the bar chart so we select this chart and the first one it will be hotels by stars so we select the hotel stars in here so on the y axis and on the x axis we are going to have the hotel name as count distinct okay now i'm going to format that so we start by the background and the visual 20 same thing for the title so we have hotels by stars and same thing for the bars it will be black okay now for the y axis we remove the title and it will be black bold same thing for the x axis it will be black bold and for the title it will be in the center in bold okay we can also add the labels so there are labels on and it will be black in bold for the position it will be outside end okay so we have eight hotels five stars five four stars four three stars okay so here we have 3.5 and here we have 4.5 so the next chart it will be hotels by total rooms so same thing copy paste this one put it like that okay so on the y-axis we are remove this one and remove this one so for the y-axis we are going to have the hotel name and on the x-axis we are going to have the number of rooms as the average okay because we have the names of the hotels which are repeated many times 
so like that with average we get exactly the number of rows so for the values on the x-axis the unit it will be none okay and decimal places zero decimal places the same thing for the labels so the value the unit it will be none and decimal places zero okay it will be bold right same thing for this one it will be bold and we can change the y-axis so the maximum width we can put it 45 all right the title it will be hotels by total rooms okay next we have donut chart for users by period of stay so we can copy paste this one put it in here like that okay we can remove everything we select donut chart and we can select period of stay and the value same thing it will be the count all right we can format that so we have the title users by period of stay and for the legend it will be off for the labels we have the category percent of total and also we are going to change the slices so for example we have black next okay so like that we have our donut chart for users by period of stay and we can import also the logo same thing you can find the link in description to download the logo so add an image okay so like that we have a logo in here and we can add the two cards so the first one it will be the total hotels count distinct so we rename it total hotels and same thing so the values in black same thing in here with the background and also the border all right now okay and we can copy paste this one so it will be the average score so here we have the score as the average okay so we can rename this one score average all right now if we close everything like that we get our final dashboard for our chip advisor project so that's it for this tutorial. I hope that you have learned new things. Thanks for watching and see you in next tutorial.